Okay, another gadget that I have, I made a couple of weeks ago, is I made some robber screens. And the main reason I made robber screens is I'm going to make up some nukes this year. And I don't want my strong hives robbing out my nukes. So I made about five of these little robber screens. I want to show you how one fits. I also made a couple, and this is, uh, goes back to Kevin's point about stay with one type of equipment. So I've got two different bottom boards, and guess what? They're different sizes. The openings are different sizes. So I had to make two different sizes. Fortunately, one of these fits Kevin's hive. So the way this goes on is you put it here. What I did is I bought some of that blue sticky, it's like, um, like caulk almost. I'm just going to stick it on there so I don't have to screw it in. I don't have to hold it any other way. I'm just going to put some of that self-adhesive. And the idea is that the robber bees, they are so obsessed with going in there and getting the honey that they're just trying to go right in through the front. So you'll see them, they'll just be going like this trying to get in. The bees that live in the hive, they'll figure out that, hey, I can get in at top and I can get out at the top. And so your robbers will be all day long doing this and the bees that are in the hive, your bees, will just go right in that way. The other thing I did is I made on top of a couple of uh, these little closures because now if you put this closure in, now you've got a hive you can move without the bees getting out, right? So now they're locked in. And especially for nukes where you're going to have to, you know, unfortunately, we talk about different size equipment, this one doesn't fit this particular nuke. It's just a little bit too big. But the idea is, you know, you would put it in place and then if you wanted to transport this nuke, you just put the stop in, and now you can transport it. When you get where you want to go, you just take it out, and they can come out and do their thing. Wow. So that was really my concern. And again, I have two different manufacturers of nukes, so I had to make each of these custom for, uh, for each nuke that I had. And you can see this one doesn't fit Brushy Mountain. So I obviously don't have Brushy Mountain. I think I have Kelly's.